Hello and welcome each and every one of you. Video today is me, Daiga, coach therapist from DCT Center, and Scott, tarot card reader from Intuitive Insights and Tarot with Scott Yates. Hello, Scott. Hello, Daiga. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. It's raining outside, but inside is nice, warm, sunshine, so <laughs> for me everything is fine. Uh, before we start our show, I want to remind all of our viewers that we both taking in private clients. Scott is taking in private clients for private readings, and I'm taking in private clients for coaching and therapy, and I'm using EFT, Reiki, access bars, psychotherapy, hypnotherapy in my work. So I have quite a large range of tools in my toolbox. If you are down, if you're stressed, please contact me and I will try to help you. Uh, we're taking in live questions, so please uh, put your questions in the comment box. I do see comment box. If your questions won't be answered on the show straight away, if it's too many questions and it won't be answered on the show straight away, I will write them down and it will be on the beginning of next show it will be answered so uh, we have a couple questions from last show left over so Radha Gupta ask us will IBM company offer me development work okay Looks good. All right, so first off, we have a yes, big yes here. And uh, for the question itself, you get in, you have an offer coming from somewhere and uh, something that will be surprising to you. And, uh, and I believe that this uh, 10 of swords means uh, an end to your looking for work, all right? Because so we have the yes, and you're building on strengths that you have, right? Whatever it is that you do, IBM is going. It, it likes that, and I believe that you will get the offer. How do you like that? Next one question is from our viewer at the moment, Alina is asking will i marry my ex-boyfriend or someone new when will i meet the new person it's i well, think that's more, that's more than two one question. questions it's more two questions than one so mm -hmm. okay so first will you marry your ex-boyfriend why, why would you yeah. marry an, an ex <laughs> your ex why would you marry if you're getting together with him again probably that's the, <laughs> that's the case <laughs> well, that's a little strange if he's an ex okay yeah so uh please everybody who is asking questions live and uh, want us to answer live please consider small tape for our work because uh, we are on God's payroll, that's our work, and we try to support everybody, and obviously we need support as well. Obviously, if you can afford, if you can't afford, we will answer your question live, even without paying. Uh, if you are able to afford and generous to uh, give us coffee and cake, that's £20 plus, your question will most definitely be answered on this show. So, Scott, are you ready to answer the question? Yeah, yeah I, I'm ready. So, it, uh, I'm, I'm guessing from her question that that's her wish. Her wish is to get married. and uh, But it looks like he has more than one choice. And, uh, and unfortunately, the outcome is not something that's going to make her happy. Um, but in the, in the near future, it looks like you could be, could have somebody new coming along, uh, or you maybe, uh, you'll hear about somebody new and, uh, 
So this, this could answer both questions. There's someone that you don't yet know. Someone you don't, sorry, this one, someone you don't yet know about that you might be, you might hear something about. And that's the, the person who, well, could be your, your next boyfriend. Because it looks like uh, the ex is an ex for a reason, because he's not going to ask you to marry him. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, there is when. Can we ask cards when? Because in the comment there is when uh, will I meet the person, the new person? Well, you know, when is always hard to answer um, because... Okay, let's, especially... let's narrow down about three months. Let's say next three months. Yeah, yeah. well, and especially when, you know, when you're dealing with another person, uh, everybody has free will. And uh, I'm not, I'm not getting any win i'm not getting any any number cards um in fact uh it it looks like with these two cards uh you're gonna you're gonna be staying independent independent and on your own for at least she said three months yeah three no she didn't say i i give okay, the time okay. frame three months well in the foreseeable future i would say that uh you're gonna be a single woman Okay. okay next question from our viewers is um from shavi what which type of career will bring me most happiness and stability okay well i'll see if i can figure out which kind of career right yeah will bring me most happiness and stability Okay, well, sometimes the things that make us happy are not the things that make us stable, you know, as far as like money goes. But let's see what the cards have to say about that. But anyway, I learned that you have to go by your feeling. You have to really live with what your heart is saying and do what you want to do and what makes your heart sing because otherwise it's not working anyway. That's right. I certainly never made much money as a teacher, but it was a very fulfilling job. Please, everybody, uh, you can ask your questions live. Please keep your questions coming. Okay, so I'm looking at the outcome. It's the Queen of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords is um, could be writer, uh, something to do with words, speaking, uh, some type of speaker, motivational speaker, something like that. Uh, but something that th this is very practical. This card is very practical. So it's, it's something that you know about, something that you're very familiar with, something that you are even an expert in. Uh, or it could be teaching could also be teaching that thing uh speaking of teaching um so uh as far as like what kind of career definitely something to do with speaking writing singing something like that motivational speaker maybe or uh or a youtuber something you know, a lot of a lot of people make these YouTube ch channels based on things that they're an expert on, teaching something on YouTube, uh, passing on information, knowledge that you've gained in your life, something like that. Yeah. So next next question is from from Krish. May I have health read, please? Okay, health. Yeah. Yeah. And that's Krish. Okay. And mm. Shavi is is replying to us. Thank you very much. Yes, I would love to teach, but as I said, teachers don't make much money, but I would love to teach. So Shafi, go for it if your heart wants to do it. That's right. Um, there's a lot of I rewards that you can 
from teaching. It's a, like I said, it's a very satisfying uh, experience. You are helping to mold these little people and they're the, the things that you're teaching them are going to stay with them for the rest of their life. They'll remember you forever. Okay. So Chris, it looks like you're uh, real, doing really well with your health. Uh, it, usually if somebody asks about health, it's because they're not feeling quite right. But according to, oh, okay. Well, you have this, this um, tower in the background. Something may have happened to you. Maybe you, you, you got sick in the past or you had some kind of symptoms in the past. Maybe that's why you're you're feeling this uh, worry about your health. But uh, right now, uh, with temperance, temperance is a is is a card of health and and uh, rejuvenation. And then looking at the future, is you're 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 in a safe place. Uh, he's up on his wall overlooking uh, his land, and nothing can touch him up there. So going into the future, at least for the next three or four months, there's no health, no, no health issues. Um, you, there might, there might be something that gets you worried, just a five, and I wouldn't worry about it because this Ace of Cups is also a health, a card of health and rejuvenation. So uh, I'd say you'd have nothing to worry about in the near future, anyway. Okay, uh, before next one question, Christina, what do you see happening first between Ivan and me this year, getting pregnant or engagement? Mm -hmm. And again, I want to remind everybody, you can ask your questions live. Also, you have choice to send me questions before show, but because pri priority is questions live, uh, your questions, what you send me may or may not be answered. So it's your choice, really. Okay, and so pregnant or marriage. Hmm. Coming up, first card is an Ace of Cups. That can sometimes indicate conception. So right away, it looks like we're leaning towards uh, pregnancy. I hope that's not disappointing. And today, that should be something nice and good and welcoming. And, well, well the, the, re the reason I say that is because uh, that that is the disappointment card. So, yeah, here we have, um, and uh, as far as, okay, pregnancy, marriage. <laughs> uh, you could You could definitely read these cards in this way. So this is uh, conception, and then this, and then celebrating the family, right? Um, there there might be some disappointment from that, but listen, that this is not a a major disappointment. This could be something like I wanted a girl, but I, I'm having a boy, something like that. Um, but I believe this child is going to be a star child, a, a star child who's going to bring some great stability to your life okay so whether whatever this disappointment is you need to put that out of your mind because uh you're you're going to be having a very special child i believe i believe that's the case with a lot of the children that are being born now and in the past 20 years i think that uh there's a lot of very special star children being born at this time yeah next one next one question is from rada please do you do you feel me and my boyfriend will have lifelong happy marriage 
I really, the question is, what cards say will her boyfriend and she will have happy marriage, lifelong happy marriage? Rada. Hmm. And Kristina is replying that she is not disappointed at all. Well, th that, that card was for the outcome, okay? Um, so I, I guess she's saying she'd be happy with a, a boy or a girl. So, uh, you know, like I said, it's a very minor, it was a very minor disappointment. And it could be, you know, it could be anything like uh, the, the date, the date on which the child is born or something, something minor like that. But, but like I said, it's, it's a, it's a minor disappointment. Um, okay. So this is, this question was about a lifelong commitment marriage being yeah okay so the person asking the question is uh she she has a lot of integrity she's very independent very uh creative because you have both of these cards from her the queen of wands in the past and the king of wands these are both very uh, cards with a lot of integrity um and I, I believe she's feeling that she is ready to get married with this uh, world card in the question. But uh, it's not, it's not going to last. It, I mean, the question was, would this be a lifetime, right? Yeah. No, no. Um, seven of Pentacles. So, like, after seven years, there's going to be something that rocks this marriage, and. Uh, you're you're gonna have to at least take some time off and let me clarify that see like will it will that be the end of it will this this major disruption after seven years uh yeah that i that will that will begin uh an ending to the relationship it will drag out over time but after this shocking thing that happens after maybe seven years. Uh, then we have death card. So a long gradual chain change. So say, I don't know, whatever this is. And then you try to work things out, but uh, then there's a 10 and it's a family. So the ending of a family and then maybe somebody new comes along. Okay. So okay. Sorry about that. But just just keep in mind, okay? When you're asking, you're asking about a lifetime. So, I mean, you you could have many happy years together too. Nowadays, not many marriages last a lifetime, do they, Daigo? I know few that did. My parents definitely was nearly fifty years together. So. Yeah, but that, but that was a, that was a different different era. You know what I mean? My parents as well. They came from a different, you know, they, my, my father was born in the, in the thirties. So I think, I think used to be this, uh, if you get married, then you have to live with it. Doesn't matter how, how it goes. You have to live with it. Yeah. That's your choice. And that's it. But nowadays well, it's, kind of, it's kind of in the vowels, you know, you yeah. Yeah. Till death yeah. do us part, you know. Yeah, not so. till I get sick of you do we part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so at the moment I think your new vow is actually the right one because people are soon you getting fed up with somebody. Okay, I'm looking for something better. Well, I take vows very seriously, which is why I've never taken a vow of marriage. <laughs> okay. Next one question is from Blue Butterfly. I'm currently pregnant with triplet boys and just wanting to ask, what are my boyfriend's intentions now going ahead? Oh, nothing like putting me on the spot here. <laughs> I think if boyfriend is listening or will listen in 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 the future this video you probably be in the spotlight <laughs> yeah okay 
right. But let's hope, let's hope is. the boyfriend is not listening. Oh, my dog's I'm asking me to go out. What <laughs> happened? My my dog is asking to go out, so I, I'm I'm apologizing. Just give me one minute. Let me put my dog okay. out before she has okay. an accident. Okay. While while Scott is gone, look after his dog. I want to remind everybody, please uh, send in your questions to me between shows. Next show again will be Friday morning, uh, UK time, nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, also, you can say, you can ask questions live, and priority is live questions. And we please ask, consider small tip for question, as this is our work. We are on God's payroll, and this is our work. Uh, all your uh, tips will be divided between us, and the tip jar uh, link is paypal link is below the video so scott is back now we can find out what's going on with those triplets and with this boyfriend okay I got a three of cups. I got triplets in the reading. I got triplets in the reading. Triplets, triplets in the reading, even. Okay. I'm I'm relieved, uh, Daiga, that I don't I don't have to give any any sad news. This looks good. Okay. Um, so, this is her her wish is to get married. It looks like from this. Okay, this coming up is her, and. He is a wise soul. You're lucky. He's a wise soul. And triplets coming into the picture is something that he'll be okay with. He has surrendered to this relationship. I, I, I want to know if he knows about the triplets already. But regardless, whether he knows or not, he has committed himself to this relationship. And here you have triplets children okay and uh mm, you know it looks like he's going to be very a very passionate father and he will, will be there for them just like the stars are always above us he will always be there so uh i'm gonna i'm gonna say you got lucky with this guy he's he's wise enough to know that uh a man has to take care of his responsibilities. Great news and congratulations. Really, congratulations to you, Blue Butterfly. I, I'm really happy for you and good luck with everything. Rockstar is asking, which out of these places do you see me re reuniting with my love interest? Las Vegas, Nevada? Or San Antonio, Texas, at the river walk. Okay, so I wonder what's going on here. Is he like hoping that she's going to be there, or is he making a plan to meet there? But we're going to look at both of these places one by one. The first yeah. one was Las Vegas, right? Yeah, Las Vegas is first. Okay. I have never been to Las Vegas. Please, me, I never been to America at all, so. Okay, so I, Las, Ve Las Vegas is coming up as a no. And Las, I will. It won't, be, it won't be Las Vegas, yeah? Yeah, and then let me do it. Yeah, because. Um, 
even though that's <clears throat> well yeah here with this that's that's the disappointment and and you're gonna be like maybe for some reason you won't even be able to get there with this devil but uh so disappointed about las vegas and this nine of of pentacles she's alone so in other words staying alone uh and we got the lovers for advice lovers and it, it's it's almost like it's saying that that's not a practical place because this guy's practical and we're asking about las vegas so it's like saying las vegas isn't the practical place for that to happen okay okay then and let's look at san antonio texas san antonio texas at the river walk uh -huh. I would remind everybody to please keep your questions coming on comment box. I see comment box and the comment box is priority. So if you be generous enough and you can afford, please uh, give a small tip for our work. Uh, okay, San Antonio. Is he saying that this is someone that he's um, he knows already, or someone he's hoping to meet in the future? Is he saying mm, that nothing, he nothing was said about it. Only question. So, okay. So, looking at the outcome, and uh, San Antonio, it you know th this is not a happy card. Um, it looks like, okay, you, you meet in San Antonio, but, uh, somebody is not happy with it, with the meeting or whatever. And, uh, so at least in the initial part, somebody's going to be rejected because, uh, they don't have enough of something, maybe, maybe not somebody doesn't like the way the other person looks or don't have enough money or or something like that because uh in a relationship reading when this card comes up as the outcome it basically means rejection and rejection over something physical okay maybe like she doesn't like the car you're driving or, or it could be something like that but it's a five okay so that's something that you might be able to overcome. Yeah, I, I think with time and persistence, whatever that five rejection is can be overcome. And uh, let me let me show you the cards why I say that when I when I try to dig a little deeper. OK, so um, putting in the work. You know, uh, take tending that garden. Actually, this card was in the middle. Tending that garden, being persistent with this chariot, basically not taking no for an answer, will eventually lead to completing your goal, which is to get the girl. All right. So don't let that initial rejection happen. Uh, uh, don't let that initial initial rejection make you feel bad or, or 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 stop you you know if you really love this person you have to keep trying and, until you uh win her over because i think you can 
have okay. confidence in himself. That's the other thing. That chariot the chariot has has confidence in himself. Great confidence, almost almost cocky. And sometimes that's what that's what women like, you know. Okay, uh, please keep those questions coming. And hello, Chris, Christilna. Hello, nice to see you on our shows. Please send us a question. Next question is from Anna. Is there still weather manipulation from deep state in south of England? And while Scott is shuffling cards, I want to uh, tell some news to our viewers. I have a new show lined up with Psychic Medium. So, 3 o'clock today will be live show with Psychic Medium. And you can ask questions. You can send questions to me and ask questions on the show. Absolutely, rules of asking questions absolutely the same. And uh, you can get responses from your loved ones from another side, from Spirit World and from Angels. So, she's beautiful lady who been psychic all her life and and she knows a lot and it's really i really really telling you go meet her and and probably use her services because she is brilliant teacher and very very knowledgeable soul okay Daiga, it looks like that it looks like um there's weather manipulation coming from both sides. So you got a lot of things coming fast and a five of wands. So there's like a battle going on over the, the weather manipulation. So the deep state sends out something to try to create the weather it wants. And then the alliance does something on their side to counter that. So it's a, a move counter move. And it's and the outcome, though, is the it looks like the alliance gets the upper hand. They have something that the deep state doesn't know about, that they're able to um, make things better for for mankind. It's definitely beneficial and it's and it's coming from integrity. But there might be some bad men bad weather manipulation going on as well. Look at that in the past. In the past, it was 100% uh, the the deep state uh, handling the weather. Yeah. But we've, we've moved, we've moved through a portal. We've moved through uh, maybe into a new timeline where they don't have that control over it anymore, 100%. Okay. No, weather, weather definitely in south of England, uh, is it's horrible it's not like it's used to be at all it's windy it's rainy it's cold it's really really not not good at the moment mm. uh, next question is from mark will there be rv and qfs in next three months i was just sent some information today on telegram where um this this one report said there are two different people saying that they received eight hundred and eighty thousand eight hundred and eighty eight dollars and eighty eight cents in their bank accounts. Two different people said that. This was just recently. And, and where, then, where uh, they live? From which no, country? That's, that's the United States. That's in the United States. Uh, let me let me let me get this real quick. Let me. Well, no, I'm not. It would take me time. Uh, but uh, there was that. And uh, and then another guy saying that uh, Russia is uh, you know ready to unroll all of this. So I don't know. Let's see what the cards have to say. Maybe uh, maybe that plan gets sidelined. You said six months, right? Uh, yes. Well, no, 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 no. It's three months, not six months. Three months. Three months. Three months. Okay, within the next three months. Are we and QFS in next three months? 
I have to tell you, with with Russia um, shutting down their their internet, they're changing their internet to an intranet. In other words, they will no longer be able to have anything go out from Russia on the internet or come in. Uh, so a lot of people think that that's setting them up for the cyber attacks that they're going to do to you know take down all these other banks and and stuff like that. So hmm. It's going to cause a lot of disruptions. I hope you all have some food and water stored up. Uh, maybe a generator. I don't have a generator, but we don't have cold weather here. I can live with the heat. Hmm. Well, every time we ask these kind of questions, the universe does not want to answer, Daiga. I'm getting all the mystery cards. I think because it's it's really operation in progress at the moment. So uh, and, and they don't want they don't want everybody to know about this. So anyways, yeah, look, you know, here's all of us. We're we're fed up with this situation because we, we keep hearing it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. So we're confused. We're maybe a little bit just, you know, fed up with it. And uh but you see the moon and the deep state card. So they're still holding on to something. They're trying, and this isn't, this is present. This is presently. But looking into the future, we have a 10. That's okay. So a 10 could, could really mean that the ending of a new way. And then something totally different. Okay, I, I'm, I'm reading this a little bit differently now that I see it. The outcome here. Something that we've never, ever heard of before. That has a lot of integrity. Replacing the fiat money that was shadowy money. That was money that was, you know, pulled out of thin air. Okay. So, yeah. Now that I, I look at it this way. We've got the, the alliance and control in the past already. I, I'd say that these cards say it is it is a possibility. It is possibility that it's actually happened in in next three months. Yes, yes. Um, tens often mean you know an ending. So and and money pentacles are money. So uh, coming up soon, an ending of an old system, and then something totally new. Totally, like it'll be mysterious. Like quantum, quantum uh, science is a very mysterious thing, but it has a lot of integrity. It'll be backed up by the banking system. So, I'm going to say this means yes. And I want to say hello to Aroha and Grateful Heart, our followers from beginning. Hello to both of you. And and very nice to you be able to join us live. Keep coming your questions, please. We're waiting for your questions. While we're waiting for other questions, is there one question from Christina Kopinen? Would like to know if I ever find my own person, someone true and real to love. I think Eva, that's really not the case, well, that's Christina. Okay. Yeah, no, that, that's okay. I mean, but what this what this means is, uh, you know, it, like like for me, I, w I was uh, what, 55 years old <laughs> by the time I finally found my, you know, forever woman. So... Um, I yeah. think everybody is different, but I... I find my other half as well very late, really, in my late 40s, so. Hello, Katrina. Katrin, uh, hello, you too. I'm very happy you managed to join us live. Please, everybody who joining us now, 
please sending me sending us live questions uh, priority is live questions so okay hey this is this is very interesting i think the love i think she already knows the love of her life it's somebody that she knows already uh it's with this king of cups in the past he may be hiding he hiding his feelings for you uh i because look here you are now in this uncomfortable waiting position waiting to meet the, the the man of your life when actually he's been in your life all along another reason to believe that is that you have this nostalgia card as your advice it's somebody you know somebody you grew up with somebody you may have known from from school it and the characteristics of that person is they're a very wise old soul so think of somebody who maybe was always more mature than their age uh, this is the kind of person it is and and they're they're a very unique person they're someone who stand up for their their values they're they're they would never um trade their values of what's right and wrong for wealth or something like that. But I want to tell you that I believe this is somebody you already know. So start to start looking through that, uh, that, that old uh, school uh, yearbook <laughs> and, 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 and look for the person who was always somebody very wise, somebody who you would go to, uh, you could confide in and they would always give you good advice. Okay, next question is from Guna. What cards can say about situation in Latvia and development forward in next three months? Okay. And while Scott is shuffling, I remind everybody, please, who is asking live questions, please consider send us small tape for our work. Obviously, only if you can. That's and right. uh, after this show will be three o'clock uh, UK time will be another show, my show with Psychic Medium, who will answer your questions live again. And uh, questions will be answered by your loved ones, by, by angels, by spirits. So it will be very interesting show and christina is telling us okay i think i know who it is so then oh, i would really? like, yeah uh, okay. <laughs> then i would like to know okay next i will ask okay, wait, next wait wait wait, 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 wait this is looking at latvia Oh boy, those people in Latvia are suffering under this draconian rule uh, here. But um, but as always, the power is in the people. If the people were to follow their hearts and trust the universe, they could set themselves free. Uh, that this is the present. But we're asking about the future, and we have a ten of cups, so an ending uh it it's gonna look bad right up until the end when it doesn't so when it does happen it's gonna happen very suddenly and it may have something to do with um military taking control uh but, good the good but, military but it uh, is in three months we're talking yeah. about those three months that's right that's right in three months well we have a 10 an ending so an ending this is what it is now so if this mm -hmm. is ending in three months, um, but it's gonna it's gonna look like it's something really bad. So it might it might look like the the Hun is on the doorstep. The enemy is at the gate. Yeah. It's gonna look yeah. like that. At the moment, and, that's exactly how it is there. Okay, but then in comes the uh, the cavalry, and it will you know the sun will come up. The rainbow will shine and it and 
in three months. You know, that's well into spring. Summer's summer's beginning about that time. And uh, so, so yeah, it, it's going to look darkest just before the dawn, according to these cards. Keep hang on, Latvians. So keep hang on and it will be okay. But, uh, you know, it, it might be three months, but it might be tomorrow, too. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's uh, Christina. Uh, okay, I think I know who Ta is. So uh -huh. then I would like to know about my cat. I think he's been human before, but was he someone I knew in this life or another? Okay. <laughs> then, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, then that means actually Christina thinks that the love for, for her life is the cat. If <laughs> I understand right. <laughs> No, no, I don't think, I don't think that's what okay. she's saying. Yeah, but I, I know uh, my cat seems human sometimes. Uh, I swear when I when I look at my cat's face, her she has so much expression in her face, and most cats don't. But uh, I, I think I see a human face on my cat sometimes. She's so expressive. <laughs> So I know I know what you what you're talking about, Christina, and I thought my cat was my former girlfriend who was washed away in the tsunami. But when I looked into it, it wasn't. Which I'm kind of glad for that. Okay, we're getting a yes. This this could have been like a a, a grandfather, or uh, or somebody like that from her past. So um, it's a, and it's like this was her her wish to have this this cat in her life. But anyways, look, we got the yes, and then the emperor. So a major arcana, a male figure. Uh, I'm I'm fe feeling could be father, but uh, grandfather or uncle or or just a, uh, a, a a a a strong man from her past. And uh, Christine is saying my cat even hugs me like human, and he warns me of people who hide uh, their true nature violent people wow it's mm -hmm. brilliant yeah so that maybe that that's what this uh five of swords here he's he's always there to uh fight for her uh, because she, he looks at her as you know the the queen of the house and uh he wants to keep her safe so yeah i think you're right i think you're right about that i uh well, we got the yes that it was somebody from your past. And I have my shivers again, so it is yes. <laughs> and and I think with this tower, I think this came like as a, uh, like, like she just had this thought one day and it like struck her like out of the blue that, wow, this cat could be somebody from my past. I think it is. Okay, next one question is from our viewers. Uh, Catherine, I have a question about Scotland again. When are we going to see health uh, on uh, gender switching agenda here? The devel uh, dev devolved government seems straight out of the new world order of transformation. Tr Transhumanism. Okay. Transhumanism. Uh, when are we going to see a help of the gender switching agenda here? The devolved government seems straight out of the new world order 
of transhumanism. Okay, so just to be clear, transhumanism is different from the uh, transgender issue. Okay, transhumanism is it is more like um, that's like what um, what's his name uh, Elon Musk is trying to do, where he's trying to upload human consciousness into a computer brain. Okay, that would be transhumanism, and then the other issue is this idea of you know trying to change like allowing little children to choose their gender and even getting reassignment uh uh surgery at a very young age uh so i'm curious do you know much about this um uh transgender issue in scotland how are they, how are they pushing transgender I don't know about Scotland, but I have, I am in a group, this Humani Pro group, and that is from different countries, people. And one lady was talking about how her grandchildren at school in America, they have to choose, they are about seven or eight years old, they have to choose who they want to be. Being boy or girl is not good anymore. You have to be figure it out. You are trans, uh, transvestite, uh, lesbian, whatever. You need to figure it out, yeah, at something like eight or nine years old. And I have shivers even talking about it. So it's that's, it's it's it's, uh, it's so evil what they're doing there. Yeah, it's unbelievable. And I'm watching now. Um, just finish watching a series. Um, um, uh, this just just like that. That's after Sex and the City, and they are pushing the girl is decided to become like boy and changing name and and the school is all very happy about it even without parents knowledge and it's really pushed at the moment right okay so uh this is think of this as family foolishness so the the people the families that go along with this are being fooled you know they 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 trust the science they trust the educators uh and to you know the wheel of fortune changes this is changing but for the outcome six of pentacles hmm so it looks like this could be 60% that you're 60% to ending it. And uh, this card often represents non-binary, the LB. I can't even remember what all those letters are. And then, so this could be, there's people working on it. There are people trying to end this, and we have a six. So they're either 60% of the way to ending it, or that could be, I mean, I don't want to say six months because I think it's going to be ending before that, but uh, could be six months, six weeks. Let me, let me try to get some clarification on this. Okay, so we have the Queen of Wands. Oh, we got the the alliance getting involved again okay so the the sun is is natural you know this would this would not be any type of uh, change it could be the opposite of this and the queen of wands is has integrity she she is what she says she is and then we have another alliance card here so uh, it's not something that you're going to have to deal with for the rest of your life. If you have young children now in Scotland, you don't have to worry about in one year or five years or 10 years, them having to deal with this. It will be coming to an end. 
we're either 60% there or six months away. Uh, to clarify for some viewers, uh, this uh, show is about your questions, you sending me questions, or you asking us live questions. So questions can be from love and relationship uh, till global events. So we taking in different questions, whatever comes up in your minds, what you want to know. So I hope that's clarified question there in the comments. Okay, uh, Daiga, I've got about five more minutes left and then I got to go, okay? Okay. Um, okay, uh, let's, if you have only five minutes, let's go for our last question, uh, what we ask in usual, what advice universe wants to give our viewers for week ahead to next show. And please uh, come on the next live show if you can if you can then send me your question and i will ask on the show uh, and we really ask you on the live show please consider small tip for our work as we are on god's payroll of course if you can afford uh, also after this show at three o'clock uk time will be another show on my channel with psychic medium who will answer your questions live uh, um, from spirit world from angels and from our loved ones you can get your questions answered from your loved ones so that's i hope will be appealing to you all right so here we are all, all are, this three of pentacles. Everybody has been working hard to bring about this new earth. Um, it's our wish. Here's the wish card. And it looks like things are turning. The wheels are turning, moving around. I believe we've already, in the background, things that are unknown to us, we've already entered into new territory. We have entered into... A, an era of the human race that has it has never seen before. That's already happened with this card in the background. Now, in the future, you're going to be hearing rumors, maybe rumors of war coming to your to your land or something like that. But that's all part of the movie. Uh, this is the the offworlders or the uh, the entities that are assisting mankind in this are in control to bring on sovereignty. Okay. So I think the thing I want people to take away from this the most is rumors of wars. That's what this is. This is hearsay. This is, um, you know, people saying that, uh, you know, there's going to be WW3 and all this other stuff. And uh, I, I know. I, I I can only speak for myself, uh, things that I know, and I, I know that we're not we're never going to have this uh, apocalyptic thing happen. You know, it's not that doesn't mean that uh, there's I, I know that there are innocent people in the Ukraine who are suffering and being taken off the earth plane. You know, but. Uh, but it's not going to be a worldwide global catastrophe. The end of life as we know it. It'll be the is end of life as we know it in a good way. Is there anything else, Scott, what you want to tell our viewers today? Oh, I do have uh, one bit of news. I finally have PayPal working in Thailand again. Uh, last, wow. uh, last, last Monday... Uh, I get, or a couple of days before that, I got an email that said that PayPal will be resuming their service in Thailand. Hmm. I wonder what changed. I wonder what, <laughs> what happened. I don't know what changed. I almost feel like it was just for me, you know, because uh, I, I really had no reason for PayPal until a few months ago because I, I didn't have an online business or anything. Now that I need it, 
boom, here it is. So thank um, you, universe. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. And so I want to remind my I'm sorry, excuse, I'll be posting my my PayPal uh, uh, link in the description. Okay, and uh, for our viewers, please join me three o'clock live for a show with uh, Psychic Medium. And please, if you like my shows, please share, subscribe to my YouTube channel because there is much more to come. Subscribe to both of our channels, please, because I'm building my YouTube channel as well. Uh, and I thank you very much for everybody who joined us live. Thank you very much who everybody who sent their questions to me. Thank you very much for everybody who supporting me and supporting Scott. Our PayPal links are below the video. And from our hearts to yours, thank you very much for watching and God bless till next week. Thank you for having me, Daigan.